Welcome back. I want you to take a look at this picture. My next guest says her teeth have prevented her from smiling her entire life. It shattered her self-esteem and her relationships. And when we heard her story, we knew it was time to step in with a miracle dental makeover. My name is Jenny Romero Kaysen. I'm 35 years old. And um, I've been insecure about my teeth my whole life. When I look in the mirror, I see somebody ugly, disgusting. I hate what I look like. I had bad teeth ever since I was little. It's hereditary. I have problems chewing my food because I choke. I am insecure around my husband about my teeth. And I asked him, I said, how can you even love me? I only bought lipstick once, and that was in junior high. Anything that brings attention to my mouth, I don't want. Having a dental makeover would mean I can live my life. I can have a conversation with my husband. I can make eye contact with people. I would feel good about myself. It's something Jenny wants so desperately, we decided to help make it happen. We told Jenny we'd arranged for a free consultation, but when she settled into the dentist chair, she got a big surprise. You see, Meredith and myself, we've looked at your pictures and seen your stories, and it touches our heart greatly, and we want to help you. So today, we are going to change your life. We're going to give you a smile makeover. <laughs> this is not happening. And we're going to start right now. Okay. We're going to start right now. Yes, I'm just serious. It's going to be the best thing you ever did. Joining me now is Dr. Brian Cantor, who also happens to be my personal dentist. Welcome, Dr. Cantor. Oh, thank so you for having me. You. Thank you for having me. Thank you for what you've done for Jenny. What was your first impression when you met her? When I first walked in, she was crying uncontrollably. I felt terrible for her. Here's someone that couldn't even smile for her children. She can't even walk out in public. You know, it's, it's heartbreaking. But the second I met her, I knew I would change her life. You know, here we have someone who hasn't been to the dentist in 15 years. She happened to have had a traumatic experience as a child, and that's very common. We have a lot of patients that have that similar experience. Where a dentist made her feel bad about yes. herself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that keeps them away from the dentist. But the beauty is, uh, with Jenny or with any patient, we can really transform their smile in just two visits. So what did this makeover entail then? Well, as you can see from her teeth, this is very involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's missing a lot of back teeth, so she couldn't even chew properly. So the first thing I did is I restored all of her back teeth and put bridges on her back teeth. On the front where you see they're discolored and crowded and crooked and darkly stained, I placed porcelain veneers. And porcelain veneers are really can transform any smile into a gorgeous, beautiful, natural smile. Here we're doing some prep work, and we're looking at... Uh, we're doing prep work and analyzing and examining the teeth, determining which teeth need to have the cavities filled, and really kind of designing the smile. Then we're going to take impressions as part of the prep work. And the impressions, first of all, Jenny was an amazing patient. We, it was a long visit, and Jenny was spectacular. After the impressions, we then drill the teeth. And with the drilling, we take care of the cavities. We had to take out two bad teeth. Oh. But the beauty of doing veneers is it's very conservative. You don't have to drill a lot of tooth structure. It's a very minimal tooth structure. And after the drilling, then we're going to design the smile. This is where the artistry comes in. You know, Jenny's going to end up with teeth that's going to look like she's born with beautiful teeth. They're customized to fit Jenny. And she looks spectacular. That's what I love about you. You don't do the chiclet teeth. No, you do no, teeth no, that that's are... what you do not want. Exactly. That's, that's, um, what, that's what you do not want. Uh, no, I know, I know. You okay. want it to look like you're born with beautiful teeth, not like you have veneers in your mouth. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to see Jenny, guys? Yeah. All right. Let's take one last look at Jenny's smile before because that's not the way she's ever going to look again. Let's see her now. Come on out, Jenny. Yeah. Since you were a little girl, you came here from Mexico. Your parents could never afford dental care, and then you had a bad experience with a dentist that kept you away from, from seeing anybody like Dr. Cantor for years and years. Did you ever think you would be smiling like this, much less on national television? Never in a million years. 
Would I ever think I would be here and with a smile? I'm so proud now. I look so beautiful. <laughs> you sure do. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you went through you went through so much bullying being grown up um, as a kid and even as an adult. People who would pick on you and stare at you. So what was it like the first time you, you saw this new smile? I looked in that mirror and for the first time I loved what I seen. I could smile. I looked beautiful. How, how do you think this is going to change your life, Jenny? Being able to smile for my kids, kiss my husband. Kissing her husband, I like that. <laughs> Making friends, conversations. I mean, I could go on and on. There's so many things. Thank you from the bottom uh, oh, of my heart. Oh, no, it's we more than happy to do this. You so deserve it. And I love that the last lipstick you bought was how many years ago? You were a teenager. In junior high junior was the high. last time I bought lipstick, but I did buy some the other day. It was red, and I was so proud to put it on, and I looked beautiful. Yeah, you sure do. You sure do. Thank you so much, Dr. Cantor. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You. And also Dr. Cantor's team at Lowenberg, Latucci, and Cantor, and to Dr. Bruce Oaken in Tempe, Arizona, who will be handling Jenny's follow-up care. And you're going to be a regular at the dentist definitely, now for sure. Definitely, definitely. Up next, how to get a Hollywood smile for under $10. Stay with us. Welcome back. You just saw the Miracle Dental makeover we gave Jenny Romero Kaysen from Phoenix, Arizona. Now, hers was extreme, but all of us want a million dollar smile. And back to tell us how to get one for $10 or less is my own Dr. Brian Cantor. Yes, all yes. Right, let's get going. What's first? First product is a new toothpaste called Luster. It has people looking for an instant fix. This has blue bright technology. What it does is there's microscopic blue spheres that will actually adhere to the teeth and take the yellowness out of the teeth and make your teeth appear whiter instantly. The only downside is that you will have little blue marks on your teeth and gums, but it goes away in about a minute. And it's oh, great. okay, and then, you, and then you look whiter. And then you look whiter. Okay. But it's only temporary, it doesn't last forever. It's just, a, it, it's quick really fix. quick fix for an event you have to go to. Okay, great, all right, what's up next? Next. Everyone knows you have to brush and floss, but people don't realize that the gums are just as important as the teeth. So these are um, rubber tips to massage the gums. You massage the gums, you get the blood flowing, stimulate the blood flow to the gums, get healthier gums. If you don't have a rubber tip, you can also use your finger. Okay, next please. Next. All right. <laughs> Black disclosing tablets. This is a good, it, it gives you incentive to have better hygiene. So you chew on this and it stains the plaque a different color so you can see where you need to work and where to clean your teeth better. I'm sure if you did this, you wouldn't have any stains oh, because yeah, you are right, so right. Oh, fastidious about <laughs> going to the dentist twice a year, three times a year. So if you see that then, then you just, that'll brush right off then? Yes, it will. And it gives you incentive to really know where to clean and where to concentrate. Okay. Where do you get those? A any pharmacy. Any pharmacy? Supermarket. Okay. What's next? So now let's leave the dental aisle and go to the beauty section. So okay. we have really quick ways to get whiter teeth. Red lipstick, contrasting red lipstick will make your teeth appear whiter. You want to stay away from the orange tones because it makes your teeth appear yellower. Oh, so a coral would not be good then? Coral would not be good, no. Oh. <laughs> and we have... <laughs> okay. Your teeth look amazing. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you have to say that. Yes. You're my dentist. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... And Vaseline. Red, well, so Jenny's smart. She's got the red. She and what's the Vaseline I put, for? Make sure we get the red lipstick. The Vaseline... If you're going out to an event and you, the worst thing is having stains of red wine or lipstick on mm -hmm. your teeth, the, red, the Vaseline acts twofold. It acts as a barrier, prevents any staining from occurring, so red wine or lipstick can't get on your teeth, and it gives a sheen to the teeth to make your teeth appear whiter than they actually are. But how much do you put on? A very little bit. You don't want to have okay, gloves right, in right. <laughs> Very right. little bit. They're a tiny little bit. Yeah. All right, and finally. Now, what is this? Finally, we have oil pulling. This is a kind of oil a new, pulling. Oil pulling. Okay. It's a new fad, been around for thousands of years. You take a tablespoon of oil and you're going to swish it around your mouth for 15 or 20 minutes. It's ideal. 15 or 20 yes. minutes? <laughs> 15 or 20 minutes. It's good to do in the morning, in the shower while you're getting dressed. You're not doing anything else. So, what it does is it actually pulls the toxins and harmful bacteria out of your mouth. And when you spit it out, do not spit it out in the sink. It can clog the pipes. You sit it out in the garbage and it rids your mouth of these harmful toxins and it gives you a healthier mouth fresher breath, and whiter teeth. Any oil? Well, there's coconut oil, there's sesame oil, those are the two best, um, and 
a tablespoon, not too much more. <laughs> what do you say, because Jenny re had reached a point where she was scared to go to the dentist because that one experience where the dentist had been so negative and sort of nasty. What do you say to people who are afraid to go? You know, about 20% of the population are afraid of going to the dentist. You know, they have a traumatic experience or for whatever reason they're not going. But yeah. what happens is if you don't go, it's only going to get worse. And then you're going to have even a worse experience at the dentist. The best thing to do is what you do when you come in on a regular basis, two to three times a year, get your mouth checked and have good oral hygiene. That's the best you can do. It helps when the dentist is attractive. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Cantor. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>